All right, welcome back. If you haven't already, please take a look at the introduction to this Ubuntu for Dummies 2013. But for this episode, we are going to take a look at some downloading options for all of you Linux newbies out there who want to try Ubuntu. Well, this part's simple. Just go to the Ubuntu website, ubuntu.com. We are going to, uh, and by the way, you may want to browse through this to get a feel for what Ubuntu has to offer. So click download and we will choose Ubuntu desktop. Now there are a couple important things here. You have a couple latest options. There is an Ubuntu 12.10 and Ubuntu 12.04.2 LTS and there's a new uh, version here if you have a new PC that is running Windows 8 and only if you have Windows 8 with a new PC you should definitely click here where it says learn more. Now I do not have Windows 8 um, or rather I don't have a PC, a brand new PC with Windows 8. I do test it and run it inside a virtual machine but only if you purchased a new computer with Windows 8 you should click here where it says learn more. Now you have as I said two options. We will go with the Ubuntu 12.04. This is the learn the long term support release and it's good support for five years starting uh, from April of 2012. I run this as a dual booth with Windows 7 and it's and it's absolutely terrific. So you have it says check your flavor either 32 bit or 64 bit I know I have a 64 bit so I downloaded that if you don't know or you're not really sure just click 32 bit where it says recommended get Ubuntu 12.04 you're gonna click that and it says here if you would like to donate it's not required but that is entirely up to you now it says here uh, not now, take me to the download. Fine, click that. Okay, it's going to save the ISO file. Uh, I choose to save it to my desktop. Click Save. And it says here at the bottom left, if you're running Google Chrome, downloading approximately, let's see, this will take approximately uh, 25 minutes. Now, you will download and save the file. Now, in the next upload, in the next tutorial, there's one very important thing that you have to do before you try to install this. Let me click back. Okay, right here where it says Release Notes, we are going to go down to where it says uh, Images and Checksums. Check that, or click that. We will need to check the MD5 which is a code to make sure that the Ubuntu download that we downloaded is not corrupted. If it is corrupted, don't install it. Now, if it is corrupted, it may be possible that it will install, but you are definitely going to run into problems. Now, I know you're probably anxious to, you know, download this and get this running. I understand that, but don't do that just yet if you have never done this before in the next video I will show you how to check for a corrupted download in Windows 7 or if you're running Vista it's the same thing if the file is not corrupted then absolutely we are ready to install but not just yet now I'll show you this I know there's a lot of stuff here I will show you in the next tutorial on how to uh, narrow this down to the download uh, to the specific download that we are doing and check for a corrupted download what is called the MD5. Uh, that's basically it as far as downloading options. Uh, thank you so much for watching and as always I will catch all of you sometime in the future.